is Saturday and yes, I know, I know, normally I don't leave the house looking like this unless I'm going to a hair appointment and I'm not getting my hair done, but there's a reason behind all of this. So I'm not even getting out the car. I am dressed, fully dressed, but I woke up this morning, I exercised, I showered and I was just gonna put house clothes back on but I don't know, something said get dressed and I'm glad I did, but I didn't do my hair. You know, I just put the scarf on, but I got a call from the vet and Boston's cremains are ready for pickup. They said, when I get there, just pull in the spot, let them know what spot I'm in and they'll bring it out. So Savannah didn't want to come, she's at the house. Yeah, that's where I'm on my way to now, you guys. Gonna pick up our little guy. I'm almost there, you guys. Is the turn in? Looks different. We've been here before, but it was night both times, so everything looks a little bit different. I actually missed my turn, and then I had to come back around. So, yes, I am in the right spot. Give them a call. Hi, I'm in space number 28. I'm here to pick up Boston's cremains. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Alrighty, you too. I just wanted to pull over to the side, away from all the other cars. Um, I do have him. Um, maybe I should wait until me and Savannah open it together, and then I will show you guys. Everything is in here, so, yeah. We'll open it together, Savannah and I, and then I will show you guys, okay? All right, let me drive home. So, yes, I started crying, but this is him here, and it doesn't open, and it just says Boston. And it's kind of heavy. <laughs> yeah, and then this little poem right here, says do not stand in my grave and weep i am not there i do not sleep i am a thousand winds that blow i am diamonds i am the diamonds glint on the snow i am the sunlight unripened grain i am the gentle autumn rain when you awaken in the mornings hush i am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circling flight i am the soft star that shines at night do not stand at my grave and cry i am not there i did not die Boston and then a digital copy of his paw print and we're gonna put this on a Christmas tree every year but this is Savannah's so and then we got a certificate of cremation and um, cremated on the sixth day of February so yeah you guys that's our guy hey everybody it is Tuesday evening happy Tuesday oh that's my wind chimes right when I put them back outside it's really super windy, so it's like cold out, so I am going to start a fire tonight. Probably one of the last times we'll be able to do it because it's been getting warm lately, but because it's so windy, it's cold in here. And yes, I could use my heater, but you know. Anyway, I am going to see, I am in the kitchen. My lights are out. I have four, no, I have six lights in my kitchen and it's the long lights I hate changing these things you guys and I'm the only one here Tariq is at work otherwise I would ask him to do it I just hate changing these lights it's such a pain in the butt but <laughs> I'm going to do it because we have no light and I'm gonna turn the dining room light on but it's still not gonna bring enough light in here for me to change it my house was born in the 90s my house was built in the 90s, so it's that. Let me show you guys what I mean. So it's that typical, whatever you call these things, and that one fell and broke, and that one's cracked. And the reason why I didn't get another one to go on here is because eventually I do want to change this fixture because I don't like it. Savannah put a lamp right here last night when she did the dishes, so I'm just gonna plug that. Yes, I'm sweating. Yes, that took way too long. And one of them, I thought I was gonna have to leave it in there. It took me literally about 15 minutes to 
get it out. Who in the world in a right mind thought, oh, this would be a perfect light for a kitchen. Let me put that up there. I hate these lights. I absolutely hate these lights. If I ever win the lottery that I don't play, this is going to be the first thing that's changed. Anyway, you guys, I probably should look into pricing, but anything electrical is expensive. So now that I got those up there, I don't like the lighting. It's like a warm light. I don't like it, but I'm not doing that again, at least until these go out. And my arms hurt and I'm sweaty. I'm going to take a shower. I know I'm complaining, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but one of them is flickering already. I'm not doing this again. I don't like the lighting. I think it should be brighter. I don't know. Never satisfied. I really don't like this lighting. I don't know if you guys can tell any difference, but I guess you'd have to be in here to know. I don't like it. Anyway, I went ahead and I did start a fire in the fireplace because after I got out the shower, it is freezing in here. So I just went ahead and did that. And y'all, I need a new bonnet. Cause y'all ass, right? I'm getting so tired of this one. It was cute when I bought it, so I thought. And now it's like, ew. And plus it doesn't even stay on my head at night anymore, so it's time to get another one. And the funny thing is, I went to the hair shop today after work. Yeah. Y'all, when I came home today, so I knew no one was home because Shia's car was gone and then Tyreek's car was gone. I knew he was at work. So I came in and honestly, for maybe like a minute... I forgot that Boston is no longer here because usually when I come home and they are gone, if he's not in the crate, he's out in the backyard because they don't know how long they're going to be gone, right? And so I didn't see him in the crate and then I walked to the sliding glass door and I almost unlocked it and opened it when it dawned on me, he's not going to walk through the door. So. Yeah, you guys, it's going to take a minute. Um, I remember when Leo passed away, it was the same thing. And Leo was my dog, so it was harder on me with Leo. We all know Boston was Savannah's. And she said the other day that she's not doing that again because it was too painful. And I get it. And I said the same thing when Leo died. I'm like, I'm never getting another dog again. So I'm pretty sure we will, but I'm just respecting her grieving time and I don't, I don't want another one right now either. I mean, even though Boston was hers, he still was my dog, you know, in a sense. So yeah, cause you guys asked, right? Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday. Just waited on Savannah to get in the car. I just backed the car out, the, out of the garage. It is cold. I'm off work until Monday, so I go back on Tuesday. We were actually gonna go to LA, but there's this women's conference in Visalia, and so we're gonna do that. You have to be vaccinated to go there as well or show a negative COVID test, so. All right, she's in and I'm gonna get going. church services tonight we are at the comfort inn and suites in visalia and let me show you the room so i had to turn on <laughs> i had to turn on the light over there because this area is kind of dim but yeah a little seating area when you walk in and i don't know if this couch is a pull out yes it is so pull out couch little footstool there TV on the wall and desk area that's the front door and then we have the little sink with the coffee bar tearing things up nothing under there and then the sink where you wash your hands hello here I am in here is the bathroom oh my goodness where's the light how do you turn this on? 
Oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah, standard bathroom. Turn off the light. And then the mirror. And then two queen beds. Y'all, we are only staying, today's Thursday. We are only staying here until Saturday morning. And I packed a bag full of shoes because I don't know which ones I'm going to wear. I don't need all this. I feel like I'm getting more and more like my mom as I laugh about her bringing loads of suitcases to my house. Anyway, room tour. So yeah, that's my bed, Savannah's bed over there. And see that? That's Savannah's, that's it. Okay, and TV and mini fridge right here. Oh, they have a microwave, Savannah. I didn't pay attention to that. So yeah, and then out here, our view it's not that great it's pretty bright too so the convention center is actually over there somewhere and we that's where we're gonna walk across the street but yeah we made it y'all can you believe I'm actually about to iron that's because I can't throw it in the dryer because there's no dryer in here otherwise definitely would be going in the dryer Savannah's in the room. Um, her stomach is hurting, probably from the Carl's Jr. we had last night. I didn't vlog after the church service because we just ate and went to bed. We were so exhausted. So just waiting on the elevator to go downstairs and then I'm gonna see if they have something that I can buy for an upset stomach, so we'll see. Y'all, this is the creepiest elevator. So I'm on my way to the first church service of the day. And I'm gonna show you guys how close we are. Okay, so I'm on my way back to the room, and yes, it's just me, Savannah. Um, she stayed to feel better, and then she'll be back tonight. So we're staying at Comfort Suites, and yeah, it's this close, you guys. Awesome. Y'all hear that? This elevator gives me the creeps. Go to 
second service. Savannah's getting ready. I'm already ready. So the space is hers. So go get ready. <laughs> just wanted to vlog a little bit more and just show you guys. This is our badge here. So we paid for the conference for the four services. And then because they have to rent out that huge hall. And then um, this is your badge to get in and to know that, you know, all the stuffs. <laughs> and then um, also the schedule is on the back. So yeah wear that and walk right on in yesterday we when we got there we had to stand in another line and get our badge and if we were to have registered sooner we would have got like little more gifts or whatever so maybe next year but anyway um the speaker was really good this morning i didn't vlog any of that but yeah going back to second service <laughs> Okay, it's 1.15 a.m. I don't know if you guys could see that. And we are up. It got so hot in here, we had to ask the front desk for a fan because we had the heater on and then it started making a weird noise and started smelling like it was burning and it got so, so hot. So we tried to turn the air conditioner on and it still smelled like something was burning. So we do have the windows open over there but I'm like wide awake because in between um, first and second service, we took a nap and I just can't sleep right now. And Sven is up as well, but we're making coffee. Yeah, so we're over here making oatmeal and coffee, but oatmeal's for her, but getting coffee and coffee doesn't have an effect on me, you guys, unless I get it from Dutch Bros, then I will be up all night. But right now, yeah, just about to have some coffee and hopefully go to sleep because we have our last church service in the morning. So we turned the TV back on because apparently none of us are going to bed anytime soon. We're about to leave. It's Saturday morning. We have one more church service. Remember that bag of shoes that I brought, y'all? I've been wearing one pair because my flats because it's concrete or cement, whatever you want to call it, in the, the convention center that we're in. And wearing heels hits differently. And I don't mean in a good way. So yeah, I brought all these for nothing. <laughs> 